Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to be making fish. This is whiting. We're going to use some garlic, garlic salt, basil, black pepper, seafood seasoning, lemon, and butter. Go ahead and get your oven started on 400, get it preheated. And we're getting ready to get this done. There's your shot. All right, there's your shot. I'll be right back. All right, while that oven is preheating, we're gonna season the fish, but we're gonna go ahead and get our little extra going here. I'm gonna put a little bit, this is a whole stick of butter. I wanted her to melt a little bit more, but you know what, that's okay. I'm gonna still get her over there, but you want it to be melted, but it's whatever. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of that seasoning. Okay, a little bit more than a little bit. That is that seafood seasoning, red lobster. We're gonna put in a couple of more things into this. We're gonna zest this lemon, okay? We want the zest of this whole lemon in here. And this is one of those meals that we're gonna have on the table, dinner ready in th less than 30 minutes. Because this fish only needs 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So if you're gonna make rice or veggies or whatever you're gonna have going, get it going before you do the fish because the fish doesn't take that long. It really does not. It does not take that long, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven, on 400. All right? This is a real quick dinner idea, but yet something good something healthy on the table and trust me when I say your family will love it and this is a great fish because this fish can be cooked a million ways grill it fry it you really can't go wrong you really can't all right and then we're gonna put some lemon juice in here cut this up Ooh, that's a big lemon. I mean, she's big. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, right? Nothing wrong with that. So put in the juice from at least half. Well, in this case, because I've got eight pieces, we're going to use both. Okay? Uh-oh, I didn't mean for that to drop in there. Get it out in a minute. Use the juice from both of, from the whole lemon, okay? Use the juice from the whole lemon. All right, I'm gonna continue to drain this other one. And then, this, I'll be right back with you, hold on. Okay, butter, lime zest, a little bit of that seafood seasoning, and lime juice. I said lime. I'm saying lime, but it's lemon. So the only thing we need left to put in here is some garlic, which is going to be about, I mean, I'd say maybe three cloves if you were to be measuring it out, about three cloves of garlic, because this is my garlic baked whitening. Okay, and this is a really great fish to cook with because it will take on whatever flavors you want it to. So now we're going to set this to the side and we're going to go ahead and season up that fish. And let me tell you, you're going to love it. Hold on, let me move the fish over here. One second. All right, with the fish, we're gonna season both sides. I'm gonna season one side with you. I decided to put a little bit of soy sauce on here. And I'm only gonna put the soy sauce on one side, okay? We're gonna go in with some of that garlic salt. And this has skin on it, this particular whiting. I prefer it not to, but sometimes you gotta get what you can get. We're gonna go in with the pepper. This fish is so great. I mean, like I said, it takes on whatever flavors you wanted to, to 
wanted to very well, very well. Some of that seafood seasoning. And, and this is one of those times where if you don't have this, I don't even remember where I bought this. It might have been the Dollar Tree. I don't even remember where I caught this at. Or whatever it is, I need to go get some more. But um, you, you can use your Obey, poultry seasoning, whatever kind of seasonings you want. Okay, use whatever you want to use. And then I'm going to go in with some basil. All right. Okay, so I'm going to season all sides. Get the other one over here and season it because I've got two of these pans because, like I said, I've got four fillets. I'll be right back. All right, we got our fish seasoned. We've got our little butter sauce. And this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take it and pour it over that fish. Just put it all over. My butter looks like that because it's not completely melted, okay? That's what that is. And just put it on your fish. Real easy, real simple. And again, I say this is only going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven, on 400. Dinner will be on the table in less than 30 minutes. I mean that. In less than 30 minutes. Then you just take some lemon. Put some lemon on there. Put some lemon on there. All right? Bam. Done. 450. 450. No. 400. 15 to 20 minutes. I'll be back. 20 minutes in the oven and this is what she looks like I'm gonna put her on a plate let you see her and those juices are perfect if you're gonna use rice if you're gonna use mashed potatoes couscous whatever you want to use look at that doesn't it make you want to bite yum 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 okay I'm gonna put her over a bed of rice brown rice and I'll be right back okay look at that look at that delicioso oh my goodness I'll be back all right I baked her for 20 minutes in the oven I placed her with some brown rice some zucchini and squash that I put in the oven. I've showed you how I've done that with the cookie sheet. We love zucchini and squash, okay? But here she is, her close-up. She is so ready for her close-up. There we go. Garlic, and I said garlic. Garlic baked whiting. With a little lemon on top. You know she got to sprinkle up parsley for pretty. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please come back for more. She's always doing something in this kitchen. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Everybody be blessed. Stay safe. And remember, Gigi will see you next time. Bye-bye.